Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you today? Hello, good evening. Okay. I'm fine. Good. Ready. Bye. Good. Nice. Hello, teacher. Hello, Martha. Hello, teacher. Okay, hello, Martha. How are you? Good. How was the day? How was the day? Very, very excited. Okay. Yes. <laughs> very excited. Mm -hmm. I think it's because of the, the weather, right? It's está caliente el clima, right? That's yes, so yes, yes. Mm -hmm. especially in the traffic, right? So that's that's terrible. Okay, people. So we're going to Did you see the, the list of verbs with ing in the in the WhatsApp chat? Yes. Okay. Well, with that, uh, that is a list that can help you, you know, uh, generate your own sentences with affirmative and negative and using different actions, right? Different verbs. For example, you know, I am working, I am studying, I am resting, I am speaking, I am listening, I am watching TV, I am listening to music, I am playing soccer, I am doing exercise, okay? All the activities that we, uh, that we are doing in a moment, right? Uh, remember that <clears throat> in this uh, in this topic, we are studying and saying the things that we are doing in the moment. Okay, in this moment, for example, you are sitting, relaxing, listening, okay, and learning English. Okay, those are the things that you are doing. Okay, hello, Samuel. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very good. Okay, that's nice. Excellent. Teacher, no sé, será mi teléfono, pero no lo escucho. Okay, vamos a ver, let me check. Déjeme chequear. Hello, 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 hello. Esta cosa. Now, can you hear me now? Sí, te lo escucho. Sí, se escucha, teacher. No, lo que, sí, lo que pasa es que yo hablo suave. <laughs> ok. <laughs> no, a veces no, sí. A veces... Yo soy porque no se escucha. No, a veces, va, a veces bajo la voz. Entonces, es. Sí, eh, es But, can you hear me now? Ahora sí. ¿Se me oye mejor? Or not much? Yes. Ok, good. Nice, nice. Next one. Okay, so then I was telling you that those verbs are for the uh, actions, okay, that we are doing in the moment, okay, in the moment, especially at the moment of speaking, right? At the moment of speaking, we say, uh, I am, I am thinking about my a job. I am thinking about a problem. Okay, I am uh, preparing or I am cooking my dinner. Okay, so these are actions, activities that we are doing. Good. So we have, look at this exercise here about knowledge, but how oh, before? Uh, 
a refrescarnos, pongo el video y luego vamos al ejercicio, ok Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are the verb plus ing wearing plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends and coworkers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Okay. So let me find the um, Okay, now we're going to show you the sentences that we were practicing yesterday. 
and then we're gonna do this exercise before we go on to the next one. Then uh, look at the pictures and input the correct answer in blank. Some sentences will have a negative connotation, okay? And some, it will be a positive connotation. Uh, follow the examples. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Or I am wearing high heels too. Contraction or no contraction, no problem. Then look at the pictures. Okay, look at the pictures. And then we have, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. Okay, and this one, you're going to use what? Look at the shoes. Then you're going to use, I'm wearing, or I am wearing. Okay, you're gonna use here, I am wearing high heels too. Okay, then you're going to write only, only lo que hace falta aquí. Acuérdense siempre, uh, a veces me preguntan que mire que por qué no me sale bien, a veces porque no le pusieron una A. Okay, y dices, yeah, pero si está todo completo, a veces en la mala ortografía, Entonces está, uno cree que lo ha puesto bien, pero me va a salir mal. ¿Por qué? Porque me falta la letra A. Okay. Si no le puso la letra G o una letrita que no le ponga, va a estar incorrecto. Eh, digamos, si como ya está la palabra I, si ustedes ponen aquí I am. también se lo va a tomar malo. Aunque esto está correcto, I am wearing, pero como solo están pidiendo lo que justamente hace falta en la oración, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que tenemos que poner. Y okay, con esto sí hay que ser cuidadoso para que no tengan que repetirlo tantas veces, ¿ok? Entonces, tenemos, ella dice, my name is Claire, o sea que es Claire, I am wearing a green suit today, va con un traje verde, and I am wearing high heels too. Y también está usando zapatos taco bat. What about this one? Okay, number one here, it's raining, but, siempre aquí mismo. It's raining, but, ¿Qué iría acá? Negative. Nadie, nobody. Okay. Um, I am not. Uh huh. I'm not wearing. 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 No, so that point negative that way. Yeah. Está bien. Pero recuerden que solo va a poner el am, no el I. Solo esas tres palabras. One, two, three. Ok. Entonces, si ven, las tres oraciones que están acá están relacionadas al cuadro, a la, a, la, a la imagen. My name is Claire. Me llamo Claire. 
I am wearing a green suit today. Estoy usando un, un traje verde. I am wearing high heels too. También estoy usando tacones altos. And it's raining. Está lloviendo. But I am not wearing a raincoat. Pero no estoy vistiendo un, una capa para la lluvia. Raincoat. Raincoat. No. Capa para la lluvia o abrigo para la lluvia. Ok. okay. Entonces, I am not wearing. Entonces las tres oraciones van relacionadas a este picture. Good. What about this one? Maybe, can you read this one? Puede leer la dos acá. ¿Quién dijo? Nelly. It's hot today. Those hands, Noricot, are wearing shorts and t-shirts. T-shirts, okay. So then, está caliente este día, right? It's hot today. But Toshi y Noriko are wearing shorts, okay? Wearing van con los, con sus shorts. And t-shirts y camisetas, right? It's very sunny. Está muy, muy soleado. But they... Are not sunglasses. Are not... Uh -huh. ¿Y el verbo? Wearing. Wearing. Uh -huh. That's correct. Wearing. They're not wearing sunglasses. And we go here. And there you go. Okay. Good. See why well, you are only writing here. Now, number three. Uh, Jocelyn, read the number three, please. Jocelyn, can you hear me? Maybe not. Oscar, can you read the number three? She is wearing a suit today. Okay. The there answer is, mm -hmm. he is wearing a brown sh shirt. Okay. He is... Wearing a brown shirt, but what is the next one? But uh, he is not wearing a tie today. Yes, but he is not wearing okay a tie today okay good that's the number three it's cold today but Katie isn't wearing a coat, or Kathy isn't wearing a coat. She she is mm -hmm. yes wearing wearing a sweatshirt. 
Okay, una sudadera, a sweatshirt, gloves, guantes, and a hat. Y un gorro, right? Cold. Yes. She? She is not boot. She is not the action wearing okay wearing she's not wearing boots <clears throat> and she is wearing naked she is wearing sneakers Okay, there you have the affirmative and negative sentences, right? You have affirmative and negative sentences. Okay, let me find them. Um, So we're gonna close this. Okay, remember this is what we were using yesterday, right? This is the one that I shared with you yesterday. We had the present continuous is form uh, using a am, um, is, and are, okay? And the present participle is the ing, right? For example, you are watching TV. Okay, the negative, you are not watching TV. Question, are you watching TV? No problem? No teacher. Okay. It's clear. Clear. Good, so then we have, for example, the present continuous, we have present continuous thing event happening in this moment, okay? Eh, obviamente comenzó hace un minuto atrás, llega el presente y continúa en el futuro, right? Then we have examples, you are learning English now, you are not swimming, Okay, this is something that you are not doing in this moment. Okay, you are learning English. Yes, se acuerdan ahí las palabras eran now, ¿cuál era la otra? At the moment. At the moment, ajá. Uh -huh. And right now, okay. Look, in the question, ponemos R, el U en medio, right? Okay, are you sleeping? Okay, so we have the questions, you are not. Okay, now we're going to practice. Okay, here, for example, we have uh, eating. I am eating a sandwich. Kelly is watching a movie. Cook, cooking, mom is cooking a delicious dinner. Do, doing, she's doing her homework. Play, playing, he's playing computer games. 
They are talking on the phone. Tom is reading quietly. We are studying English. Okay. So, si ven acá, a estos solo les agregan el ING. Okay. Y a estos que terminan en Y, igual. Uh, reading, studying. Okay, solo llevan el ING. E, a los que terminan en E, miren, le quitan la E. Y le agregan ING. Smile, smiling. Eso es para la ortografía, ¿ok? Write, writing. Vean todo lo que termina en E. Se elimina la E. ¿Ok? okay. Eh, los que terminan sin die. Terminan en IE, se pone Jin. Lai, Lai. Estas son unas reglas ortográficas para cuando les toca escribirlos, right? Eh, swim. Se van con doble. Se duplica la consonante al final. ¿no? Eso es porque tienen al final, terminan con swim. Primero, son tres reglas. ¿Quién se las sabe? ¿Quién sabe? ¿Quién sabe cuáles son las reglas? Por tres millones de dólares. Give me the answer. Ok, lo primero es. Swim. ¿Cuántas sílabas se oyen? Swim. Run. Stop. Get. Dos. Good. Two. Las que oyen. Swim, run, stop, get, one. only one. Okay, lo primero es que es un solo sonido. Ok. Todos tenemos un solo sonido. Swim, run, stop, get. El siguiente es que tienen al final de ese sonido es consonante, vocal, Consonante. Ok. Se dice run, running. Stop, okay, swim, swimming. Lleva consonante, vocal, consonante. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Ok. No es lo mismo con... Para que vean la diferencia... ¿Dónde estás? La palabra clean. ¿Cuántos sonidos hoy? ¿Cuántas sílabas hay? Clean. Sí. ¿Mm? One. Only one. Ok. Only one, teacher. Only one, correct. Y... ¿Termina en consonante, vocal, consonante? En consonante. Pero lo anterior tiene que ser. Por ejemplo, vean. Run. Run es consonante. Consonante. Vocal. Consonante. Consonante. 
¿ok? Pero acá, ¿qué tiene? Tenemos una vocal. Tenemos, no, te, perdón, tenemos una consonante. Consonante. Consonante, vocal. Vocal. Consonante. Vocal. Y tenemos al final una consonante. No es igual, ¿verdad? Si ven, aquí lleva dos consonantes, dos vocales y una consonante al final. Entonces, esa re, entonces no se cumple la regla de que tiene que ser un sonido y ser consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, si tiene eso, se puede, se puede digamos, duplicar la consonante final. Swim tiene consonante, vocal, consonante. Las últimas tres letras que sean tienen que ser consonante, vocal, consonante. Y aquí las últimas tres en clean son vocal, vocal, consonante. O sea, no cumple las dos reglas. All right. Ok. Ahí están, ese, en ese documento que les envié, están por, por grupos para que ustedes puedan ver este las diferencias y el por qué están así, ¿verdad? Ya se los explico y entonces ya ustedes conocen y saben ok, la razón, right Aquí está esta otra, dice upset, este test, eh, pertenece a este grupo. And whisper, aquí solo llevan ING, visiting and benefited, ok, benefit. And that's it. Okay. Aquí es, en estas, es porque la fuerza de voz va en la segunda sílaba. Esta es la otra regla. Okay. Upset, upsetting. Forget, forgetting. Commit, committing. Okay, tiene dos sílabas, pero la segunda sílaba es la que va con la mayor fuerza de voz. Okay, the second syllable. Good. Then you can study the rest, los dos documentos, right, that you got. And then you have that information. Okay, now let's go back to the platform. Then we have here this one. And that's it. By the end of this class, then we have the questions. Just no questions. All right. There to be. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. 
So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, I mentioned the subject will be you, and the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the uh, the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should uh, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. Questions in the present continuous tense. So after you have finished, Go ahead and share your work. Okay. So then you have here the questions, right? Are you have to use the verb to be first? Are you wearing a suit? Is she wearing boots? Uh, are you eating dinner? And the answer is yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Are you eating dinner? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Okay, for example, we have here are some things. What are you doing? Uh, let me. Okay, then, uh, Oscar, are you drinking coffee? No. No? Uh, no, I'm drinking the tea, Jamaican tea. Okay, but the first one, you say the short answer is no? No what? The short answer. No, no, no I uh, drinking. No, wait. No. No, I'm not. Okay. Are you drinking coffee? No, I'm not. Uh, Jenny, are you watching TV? No, I am not. No, I am not. Ok, recuerden lo que están respondiendo sus compañeros porque después les voy a preguntar qué es lo que estaba haciendo Oscar y qué es lo que, si Jenny estaba haciendo algo, ok. Milagro, okay. Um, are you listening to music? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, good. Samuel. What? Okay, are you sleeping, Samuel? Are you sleeping? No, no, teacher, listening. No, I am not. No, I am not. Very good, okay, no, I am not. Good. Insisto, insisto, comerme las palabras. <laughs> ¿Cómo? Insisto en comerme las palabras. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Okay. Are you having dinner? I say yes. Are you eating the words? Yes. No se las como. Good. They say, for example, are you sleeping? No, I am not. Okay? No, I'm not. Uh, let me no, see. I am not. Good. Thank you. Uh, Lillian. Lillian, are you? Okay. 
Are you wearing a red blouse? No, I am not. No, I am not. Ok, ahora voy a preguntar acerca de sus compañeros, ok? Vamos a ver, eh, Marta. Is Oscar drinking coffee? No. Ajá, no. No. No, she is not. Ok, como estoy hablando de Oscar, ve ahí en el chat, dice no, he is not. No, no, he is not. No, no. Ok, voy a escribir nuevamente porque me equivoqué con la coma. No, is, no, no. he is not. Está correcto. Y pueden también decir la contracción no, he's not. Ok, no, he's not. No, he's not. Reina. Reina. Marta. Reina, is Samuel sleeping? No, he's not. No, he's not. Very good. Ok, yo creo que Reina tampoco está dormida. Está poniendo atención. Muy bien. No, he's not. Ok. Eh, Ahora voy a ir por el bus. Nelly. ¿Qué onda, Samuel? Estamos perdidos ahorita. Hello. Ok, Nelly. ¿Es Jenny watching TV? No, she's not. Very good, excellent. Yes, no, she's not. Good. Eh, Ivania. ¿Es Milagro listening to no, music? No, no, no. No, no, no. Eh, uh, alguien... She's not. No, she's not. No, she's, she's not. not. Very good. Thank you. Ivania, are you wearing a blue dress? Ivania, are you wearing a blue dress? Not. I am not. No, I am not. Okay, good. Eh, Blanca. Blanca. No, Blanca, Blanca. Blanca, Blanca. Sí. Okay, there you go. Blanca, is Ivania wearing a blue dress? No. No? She is no. not. No, no, she's she's not. not. No, she's not. Okay. No, she's not. Vean a la foto de Brandon, okay? Is Brandon playing soccer? No, she's not. Yeah, vean la foto de Brandon. Is Brandon playing soccer? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. He is. Okay. So we use yes. He is. We have yes, comma, he is. Okay, aquí sí no usamos contracción, okay? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, um, is, look at Oscar's picture. Is Oscar smiling? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, yes, he is. Good. Then these are, for example, the questions, right? Is Oscar doing this? Is Oscar doing that? Okay, vamos a ver. Jenny, haga usted una pregunta a milagro. Okay. Um... Are you eating pizza? Oh my God, pizza. Excuse me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. Are you eating pizza? No, I am not. 
Okay, uh, Milagro, ask a question to Marta. Are you? Pregúntele a Marta. Mar eh. Milagro. Ya le preguntó, no. No, no. Milagro, milagro. ¿Qué? Sí. Hello, teacher. Ok, le Pregúntele a Marta, hágale una pregunta a Marta. Are you? Are you the color the blue? Blue? Are you? Are you? Uh -huh. And the color is blue. Are you wearing? Are you wearing in a blue? A blue? Blouse, dress, shoes. Blouse. 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 Okay, Marta, are you wearing a blue blouse? No, I am not. Perfect. Thank you, Marta. No, I am not. Okay, no, I am not. Are you wearing a blue blouse? No, I am not. Okay, nice. Then, uh, Oscar, ask a question to Brandon. Are you? Um, are you wearing the sneakers? No, I'm not. Okay, are you wearing sneakers? No, I'm not. Brandon, ask Samuel. Samuel, is Oscar wearing a green shirt in his picture? Perfect. Um, repeat, please. Is Oscar wearing the shirt green in his picture? <laughs> um, um, now looking, um, okay. Uh, so are you wearing the shirt black? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, yes, I am wearing a black t-shirt. Okay, if you say Oscar, is Oscar wearing a green shirt in the picture? Yes, he is, right? He is wearing a green shirt. Green shirt. Yes, he is. Oh, you can say no, he's not, no problem. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Samuel, ask a question to Lillian. Are you? Um, are you listening in the class, the teacher? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Sí, profe. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? <laughs> sí. Okay, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ok, ya sé. Ya, tenía miedo, ya esperaba yo que dijera que no, fíjese. Porque usted ya... <risa> Ahí sí estamos mal, dije. Ok, okay. yes, I am, Lillian. Yes, I am. Ok, are you listening to the teacher in class? Say, yes, I am. Ok, good. Ok. Nice. Eh, Lillian, pregúntele a Nelly. Are you? Eh, Nelly, your friend? Are you? Are you your friend? Eh, pero pregúntale si está haciendo algo. Are, está cocinando, si está eh, jugando, está eh, comiendo. Are you eating? Are you cooking? Are you, uh, are, you, are you cooking? Okay. Are you cooking, Nelly? I am not. No, I am not. Okay. No, I am not. Excellent. 
Ok, Nelly, ask, pregúntale a Marta, are you? Are you wearing a yellow blouse? Ok. Marta, are you wearing a yellow blouse? I am, no, I am not. No, I am not. Very nice. Ok, good people, that's correct. Ok, so then this is the how you ask questions. Ok, podríamos seguir, but you know, we have to continue. Ok, but these are, for example, a question, are you, is he, is she, yes, he is, no, he's not. Uh, what we have here in these questions, right? Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. Negative, no, I am not. Uh, is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Okay? No, they aren't. So, aquí vamos con singular, plural, okay, or second person. Question forms. Okay, if you see this picture. If you check this image, look at the image below and answer the questions with short answers. Respuestas cortas, okay? Por ejemplo, is Bruce wearing, is Bruce wearing, Bruce is the man, a light green jacket? Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Yes, coma, he is. Okay. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? This is Nick. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? Yes, yes, he is. Yes, yes, uh, yes, eh, yes, no, he's not. Son glasses únicamente. No, it's okay. not. Uh -huh. No, it's not. Aquellos que son para así como para, para andar así fisiqueando, ¿verdad? de colores y todo, that's our son glasses, para proteger del sol. Ok, no, coma. He is not. Okay. Is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? Yes. 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 Yes, she is. Yes. She is. yes. yes. Coma. She is. Yes, she is. Good. Is John wearing blue jeans? No, he is no, not. Okay, no, he is not. Okay, who's Sean? Oh, this guy here. Sean wearing blue jeans? No. Coma, he is not. Okay, and the last is Anita wearing a yellow skirt. Here's Anita wearing a yellow. No, she's not. No, no she's, she's not. not. No, she's not. No, she's not. Hey, is she wearing blue jeans? No, I think they're jeans. No, he is not. Yo creo que yes, teacher. Yo no veo que sea en jeans, pero ajá, veamos. Yes. Yo creo que sí. Yes. He is. Perfect. Es lo más lógico que sea en sí. No, me. 
Here he is. Um, a menos que no. Somos la contracción. No, it's not. Ah, ok. Y aquí tienen que tener cuidado con esta respuesta, miren. Porque aquí no la puse. En la número dos. Es una respuesta parecida. No le puse esa contracción, pero aquí no me la aceptó. Ok, tuve que hacer la contracción de la I. De otra forma, también es correcta. Pero no sé por qué no lo veamos. No, he's not. No, he, ah, ok. Sí, no han dejado en las opciones de respuesta. Como no, mira, aquí está. De no, he is not. Ah, ok. Mire, son detallitos, mire. Por ejemplo, a veces, si la pongo así como yo la había anteriormente. No, he's not. Pero sin el punto. La costumbre que yo tengo es porque siempre al poner una oración y todo eso, siempre es poner el punto. Y aquí se les escapó ponerles el punto. Entonces, a veces por eso es que les puede salir mal a mí. O sea, no es que tal vez no lo hayan, ustedes lo pongan mal, sino que hay algunos detallitos ¿verdad? que se pueden de ahí. Todas las demás están bien. Entonces, sobre la número cuatro, recuerden que se van a encontrar con ese. Ahora, les permite, lo que no les permite, mire, es que pongan, por ejemplo, la N minúscula. Sí, me la acepta, pero no está entre las opciones. Ok, son detalles. No, 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 todas están con mayúscula. No, no, no. But it's admitted. Ok, solo en la número cuatro, entonces tengan ese cuidado con esos detalles. Ok. Good. Now, ¿alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Porque este es lo último de la. Yes, de la section four, así es. Teacher. Yes. One the question and. Um, and the, ¿Cómo se dice tarea? <laughs> homework. 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 Uh -huh. and, and homework. Hasta que. Hasta que número llegue, tenemos que llegar esta semana. Cuatro. Esta cuatro. Todo esto que hemos visto. Esta Toda semana. la cuatro. Sí. O sea que la, la otra semana estaríamos ya comenzando a las cinco. Ahorita voy a. Ajá, digamos, este, voy a, nada más les voy a mencionar lo que es la cinco. Exacto. Y vamos con las cinco. Y ya este, y hacer el, el último examen que está ahí, que es el ah, examen final. Uh -huh. okay, eso lo vamos este a ver el, por el miércoles. Es, es para ponerme al día. Exacto, sí. Ahorita tienen que terminar la cuatro. Obviamente recuerden que si, que si ustedes eh, pueden seguir a, a, con la cinco, no se detengan. ¿okay? De todas maneras, siempre lo vamos revisando en clase. Entonces, ayuda, basta, ayuda bastante practicar y escuchar en, en listening para, uh -huh. para después comprender algunas palabras porque Correcto. así me pasa a mí. Es que, recuerde que la repetición, eh, digamos, en, pues, esto es como, digamos, a veces hay cosas que sí son como que requieren, ¿verdad? De mucha repetición, otras que son de, de cómo es que se llama de de análisis, comprensión, depende de lo que se esté aprendiendo, pero por ejemplo esto es como como andar en bicicleta también, ¿verdad? Que hay que andar con muchas, hay que practicar bastante, hay que hacer mucha repetición, ¿ok? Como las matemáticas también, que hay que hacer muchos ejercicios, porque realmente no son cosas difíciles, pero sí requieren de, de tiempo y, y como una disciplina le podemos llamar de, de estar haciendo ejercicios constantemente, ¿verdad? como el, el cuido del cuerpo ¿verdad? físicamente, hacer ejercicio todos los días y todo eso. Esto es igual. ¿Ok? Y sí, la, el, el escuchar, exponerse, escuchar, leer, eso les va a ayudar muchísimo. ¿Ok? Muchísimo. 
sea, entre más puedan oír música en inglés, eh, ver películas en inglés, aunque tengan los subtítulos al inicio, pero ya algo se les va a quedar. Ok. It's good. Entonces, para la próxima semana, porque mañana les voy a dar libre, porque se han portado bien. Eh, vamos a ver, dice, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about different cities, international time zones, and you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Okay, so that means that vamos a hablar del tiempo. What time is it? Okay, vamos a aprendernos la hora. What time, what time is it there? And the time zones in different countries. Okay, así que vamos a practicar con el clock. Okay, for example, what time is it in this moment? It is... It is... Nine, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, okay. So that's nine o'clock. It's 9.01, las 9.01, 9.01. vamos a aprender a decir la hora de diferentes formas, ok? 9.01, 9.03, 9.05, 9.10, eh, 9.15, 9.20, 9.25, 9.30, 9.35, 9.40, 9.45, 9.50, 9.60, 9.70, 9.80, 9.81, 9.82, 9.83, 9.84, 9.85, 9.86, 9.87, 9.88, 9